A celebration is happening at Promise Community Homes, and they even have some incredible upgrades to brag about. This next segment has been sponsored by Promise Community Homes, and joining me this afternoon is Executive Director Matt Elmore. Matt, thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Of course, I mean, tell us a little bit about Promise Community Homes for those who might not know. Yeah, um, so we're a nonprofit organization uh, right here in the St. Louis metro area, and what we do is uh, we focus on providing housing specifically for adults with intellectual and or developmental disabilities. And how important is it to know that there are accessible spaces, not only to live here mm -hmm. in St. Louis, but to thrive? Yeah, incredibly important. Mm -hmm. So when you think about you know, your day-to-day -day life and the things that you do over the course of a week or a month and the places you go, it's very, very important that you're one, able to actually go to those yeah. places. <laughs> and then once you're there, that you can navigate them comfortably. Mm -hmm. Um, so very, very important to be accessible. And speaking of those accessible places mm -hmm. and spaces, one of those is a polling location. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about your kind of latest endeavor there. Yeah. Um, so our main campus um, in Creve Coeur, uh, we were able to partner with the St. Louis County Elections Board to be an accessible polling location. That is awesome. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. And so we have um, an amazing gym space and pool space on our campus as well. And so we're working very hard this year to make sure that it becomes more and more accessible. Absolutely. And because of you guys and the work that you do, it all takes money. Oh, and we're yeah. raising money yeah. to pour back into the community to create these, these accessible spaces that are beautiful for so many people mm -hmm. right here in our area. Tell us about how people can support you at yeah. your next big event. Yeah, um, so uh, coming up, we have our annual uh, Chip In for the Promise of Home golf tournament. And that's gonna be Tuesday, May 7th. Um, the course is at Forest Park. So all the proceeds that um, come from this event help support things like our campus renovations, but then also um, so we can continue uh, adding improvements to our, all of our houses as well. Okay, St. Louis, you have to go ahead and mark your calendars. The date one more time is May 7th. Mm -hmm. Put it on your calendar, 9 a.m. Forest Park Golf Course, mm -hmm. and again, all of these funds truly go right back into oh, yeah. Promise Community Homes. What else are you guys going to do in 2024, 2025, and just looking in the years to come? Yeah, definitely. Um, so like I said, we're, we're always still focused on improving our houses that we have all around the St. Louis area. Um, but thanks to some funding that we got from the Chris and Dana Reeves Foundation and the Sunnen Foundation, um, we're just going to continue improving our gym space. So we want to make sure that this community has fully accessible spaces that are also affordable because um, everyone deserves to have a basketball party if they yes. want or a pool party, <laughs> you know, and, and we want to be that space that can help uh, enable those individuals to well, do Well, you're that. definitely being that space, yeah. and I'm here to support the spaces and the places that you guys are pouring into right here in St. Louis. If you're at home and you're watching and you'd like to get on the Promise Home Community Change, you can chip in for the Promise of Home as well. Again, you can head online to promisecommunityhomes.org to learn more about the mission, but you can also sign up for the incredible golf tournament that is coming. Coming up, all those details will be on our website at studiostl.tv. Don't go anywhere, St. Louis. We'll be right back after this.